peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Tuesday, day off from the store, and it is currently 7 o'clock in the morning, and I am almost at the Southeast Portland Goodwill Outlet. I'm hanging out with my friend Kevin today doing some thrifting. I'm running a little bit late, unfortunately. The outlet used to open at 8 o'clock, which was much easier. Now they open at 7, and so I have to leave my house by like 6.15 to get here in time. Um, unfortunately, I left at about 6.22 and I hit some traffic. So um, I'm my, my clock here in the car is a little bit fast, just a couple minutes. So I might pull up right at 7, but either way, I'm not going to be like one of the first people in. Unfortunately, uh, Kevin is like first in line because he got here at like 6.30, which sucks. But I'm almost there, so hopefully we find some cool stuff today. And I'll try to do as much filming as I can and show you guys what we're doing. So we just left the outlet. It's a little windy. Hopefully you guys can hear us fine. Um, this stuff is stuff that I'm buying from Kevin that he found previously. So we have this super awesome pillow. Obviously we're gonna keep that. Sarge's Heroes for the 64. There's a Xbox 360 guitar and Alien vs Predator Clue, which is sealed. And then, Go through the stuff that we got here. We didn't do any filming in there because we weren't really here for too long. A couple of Goosebumps books for the lot. Clapper. Dollar toy. Found a taser. <laughs> How many volts? It says jolt 20 million. <laughs> 20 million milliamps or something maybe. Oh yeah, give it a test. It's dead. Yeah, not enough charge. But it just plugs in like that. So we can protect ourselves at the store from creeps. <laughs> we have one of the wireless Wii sensor bars. A bunch of cables included in here are both cables for a Wii. Some HDMI cables. A Wii remote, which Kevin gave me. Couple good remotes, Sony CD, Sony Blu-ray, and an Akio one. And some RAM, camera, charger, a USB drive. An NFL Street football, sold a couple of those before. A couple of KitchenAid attachments. Some plushies for the store. Cool stuff. A My Little Pony ceramic coin bank this little thing for Amazon <laughs> Rubik's cube for my lot this thing which is kind of cool it's like a frisbee type thing but they're going for like 15 bucks nice. bunch of blank cassette tapes bunch of dollar toys Ugh, that one's stuck Some Legos, Guitar Hero battery cover, a couple of skate VHS, and then some Kung Fu ones, and three DS games, Hello Kitty, Big City Dreams, Imagine the Ballet Star, and Hannah Montana Music Jam. Good games. <laughs> and then this little thing which I don't really need, so I'm going to leave it in the car. We're going to hit up Another goodwill? Sixth Street. Yep. Sixth Street. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, we spent a total of $27 and some change. Luckily, there's no tax here in Oregon. Um, and then it's only 9.18 and we're already leaving. So they opened up at seven. We were only here for, you know, two hours basically. Um, so I think we did all right for the amount of time we spent here and the amount of money, which was not very much. Uh, so we're heading to a goodwill on MLK and 6th Street, which is the biggest Goodwill in the Portland metro area that is not an outlet. Um, we went to the same one last time, uh, found some cool stuff, nothing too crazy, but it's a place where we found the Rocksmith games on the Battlefront. Um, so hopefully we'll do pretty well. We're probably gonna hit up at least a couple other Goodwills together today. Um, and we're planning on going and getting some lunch as well. So. Sorry I didn't do any filming at the outlet. I wanted to. I just... It's so fast-paced at this one. It's not like at the Vancouver one where you can kind of take your time. Uh, this one is way more crazy. So 
kind of just had to focus on trying to find stuff. And like I said, we didn't really spend too much time there. Last time we came, um, we were at this Goodwill for seven, six or seven hours. And we were only here for two hours today, so a lot less time. But found some good stuff. On to the next one. What do we have? I'm not seeing anything. I'll have to look this one up. I don't know what it goes for off the top of my head. We're not finding much here. Okay. Not yet. Oh, it's an 86. There's an 83 plus for five doll hairs. I'll take that. Got a PS1 controller, wireless mic for the 360. What, are you asking about this one? Yeah, does it have batteries in it? It's just... Oh, I didn't look. It feels like it does. But they must be dead. Ooh, ancient. Yeah, it's worth it. Heck yeah. We're gonna look through here. I'm gonna scan this. Probably not gonna be worth it. No other cool calculators? Not that I see. What about this one? <sighs> we come here, we don't find calculators. It makes me sad. So we just left that Goodwill, we got the microphone. It was seven bucks. They go for like 25, 30 on Amazon. Got the controller for the store. It was five bucks. We'll sell it for 15. Got a Pokemon plush for two dollars. We'll sell it for three bucks. Not a huge profit, but our plush bin's getting empty. Got the TI-83 plus. I sell those on Amazon. And then we got a newer Furby, like an alien Furby. Very neat. But it was four dollars. And they're selling for like 25 to 30 on Amazon, which is what a regular, like an older Furby sells for. So, pretty cool stuff. Where are we going now? Lombard. Lombard Goodwill. Apparently there's only four games here, <laughs> and they're nothing special. So, we'll look at CDs. We look for any CDs that are factory sealed, scan them for Amazon. Oh, here's some more but also nothing good. The games suck. There's some Beatles rock band. Oh, Guitar Hero Live. I was gonna do CDs. Have you done them recently? No. no All right. What'd you get there? A wire 360 controller. Five dollars. Nice. I got this Dance Dance Revolution. There's no game in there, but the game's cheap. It was 10 bucks. According to my spreadsheet, I have it, but I have the white cover variant, and Abby's not awake to like confirm for me, so this might go in the store if I already have it. And then I got a red Wii remote for five bucks, which we desperately need. <laughs> oh, show them the hard drive you got. Oh, yeah. It's so video game related. The regulars handed this off to me, but it is the Final Fantasy 13 250 gig hard drive. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I haven't seen one. So, yeah, neither have I. So where are we going now? To Salmon Creek. Salmon Creek. Yep, quite a drive, but should be So good. I went to Hazeldale last night. So do you want to go to Salmon Creek and then get food? Yeah, that's what I was Woo! thinking. We were at our last Goodwill stop, right? Uh, of the day, potentially. Well, I was thinking I would go to Fourth Plain on the way home. I mean, you can totally go with me. Nah. I'm happy with my second Furby and another Rubik's Cube. It's like slouching <laughs> to the side. Yeah, this oh. one's this one's a little weird. I think it's motorized though. I can probably move in both directions. <laughs> Still cool though. Watch while I solve this. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't have the sticker on. <laughs> we went to Killer Burger last time in Portland. Now we're gonna go to the one in Vancouver. I'm excited. So Kevin and I have parted ways for the day. Uh, we ate at Killer Burger, which is really, really good. Um, we both got the same burger. We got the fun guy, which is uh, you got your patty. There's bacon. 
there is a bunch of mushrooms and then there's like a Swiss fondue cheese and then their house sauce, which is really, really, really good. I got some leftovers in the back that I'm gonna take home. I'll try to give them to Abby. Uh, if she doesn't want it, I'll just eat it later, but the place is really good. So uh, Kevin has some other work to do today. Um, it is only 12 11, which I, obviously you guys know, I don't really get up this early but it feels awesome to have already done so much today and it's only noon. Um, so I'm actually heading to the Goodwill that I went to last night um, just because we were killer burgers right here. So um, I'm going to this one by myself. Kevin's going home, like I said. And then after this, I'm going to head home and I'm going to try to film my pickup video tonight. I'm very excited about that, <laughs> but I'm not excited about trying to fit stuff on the shelves because that's not going to happen. We're here. All I found here was one brand new Skylander for two bucks. Probably still at the store for like five. I was just here last night, so I didn't really expect to find too much. So I'm glad I at least found something, but I'm gonna head back home now. So I just finished filming my pickup video, guys. And I've already put some stuff away, but look at the mess I get to clean up now. Isn't that fun? <laughs> no, it's not. But it would be fun if I, if I had room to just slide the games onto the shelf nicely and just kind of maybe alphabetize a little bit. But no, this stuff does not fit on the shelves, unfortunately. This is how it's been for the last five or six pickup videos. Um, when I first started running out of room, I was able to rearrange things and create room. Uh, but now it's to the point where, like, I can fit DS games, um, I can fit, like, a couple PS1 games, I can fit some stuff like that, but PS2, Wii, original Xbox, um, Sega Saturn, PS1 Longbox, Sega CD, Sega Dreamcast, uh, I can fit, like, one or two Genesis games, N64, NES, GameCube, I cannot fit any more on the shelves. I already have two stacks of NES games sitting on the floor because there's no room. Uh, the game room's a mess, by the way, but I have two stacks of NES games right there, right there on the ground, because I have no room on the shelves. And you can see on the shelves, I even have games stacked up on the top. So definitely not ideal. Um, I cannot rearrange. Oh, I can fit a ton of Super Nintendo games, too, on these shelves. You can see there's room on every single shelf over there as well. Plus, I have this entire shelf that... If I needed it, I could use it. Um, but yeah, I'm just running out of room. So um, this is one of the, I mean, it's it's a smaller reason, but it is one of the reasons why um, I'm really focused on trying to save up for a down payment on a house. Because if we can buy a house, um, obviously we're going to be very selective and picky with what we're getting. And we're going to get something, either we're going to get something that has a, massive space for a game room whether it's a basement or something like that or we're gonna keep looking and we're not gonna buy one until we find it so either way once we buy a house it should have a big enough spot for the game room and it'll be much bigger than this is right now so that we have plenty of room to expand we can get all of our signs up and everything um so that'll be a lot of fun but i have to deal with this for now um so I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I'm going to try to get some of this stuff put away if I can. If I have to, I'll box up some things to put, like, in the closet. Um, some of the stuff up on top here, I might have to do that with. Uh, there's Intellivision, Atari 7800, and 3DO, and then, like, some big box PS2 gun con stuff. Um, but I could do that. There's my Hyrule Warriors and Mario Kart 8 limited editions with their nice little acrylic cases. Um, and then there's Atari 2600 on the second shelf. So I could box that stuff up to make a little bit more room. I did add one Intellivision game to my collection um, that I showed in the pickup video I just filmed, but I haven't added an Atari game in a while, and I don't really have any plans to. Um, so I could definitely make some room by doing that, but even that, it's only one shelf. So it doesn't help with, like, the NES or the PS2 or the N64 um, it would help with like adding Saturn or PS1 Longbox or something, but that's about it. So I'm going to get to work and see how, what I can do. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have anything else that I'll be filming for this vlog or not. I figured most of the vlog would be 
about all the Goodwill stuff we did earlier, which was a lot of fun. Um, but I guess next weekend, um, Abby has planned some sort of two day trip for us. Not exactly sure where we're going, but if I had to guess, it's going to be to the coast, which will be cool. Um, so of course we'll take you guys along on a trip. Um, I don't know if we're going there or not. I don't know where we're going. She planned it. Um, we're going to leave, I guess we're going to leave Monday night after we close the store. She said it's a long drive. So it's either Seattle, the coast or Eugene. Um, I can't think of anywhere else that it would be, um, for a two day trip. I mean, so I guess we're going to be spending two nights somewhere. We're probably going to head back on Wednesday. She said that we can make some stops, which to me, that means either game stores or Goodwill. I, she wouldn't say it like that unless that's what she meant. So I don't know. We'll probably find some cool stuff. We'll have a lot of fun. And of course we'll film it, but that's going to be next week today or for the rest of today. I got to work on the game room. I think I'm done for tonight, guys. Um, as you can see, I'm not completely done. I'm not completely finished, but uh, I'm going to call it good for today. I was actually able to get a lot of stuff put away. I'm actually pretty surprised. Um, this is all that I have boxed up to make room. Just a bunch of Amiibos and a couple of World of Nintendo figures. What I did is I took on this shelf here. I had all of my Switch games, at least the majority of them. But we just added so many to the collection, I could not fit them. Literally from here all the way over to the end, those are all limited limited edition Switch games. As well as the ones right up here. Not that. And then all of those as well. And the Sonic. And now the rest of the Switch games are up top here. So tons and tons of them. And I've got a couple special editions there at the end. Uh, just some of the NIS America ones that fit pretty nicely right there, and they're helping to hold all of these up because, you know, the games kind of want to fall over. Um, so this is great for now. Obviously, I can take those special editions down to fit more games up there, but um, this is, you know, not a permanent solution, of course. And we'll see what we do, you know, when we move into a bigger place. I'm very excited about that. Um, but... Yeah, I think it I think it worked out kind of nicely what I've done so far. The GameCube games are not going to fit on the shelf. The PS1 games go on the shelf that's behind that cardboard. That's the only reason I didn't do that. The long box games are supposed to go here, and there's unfortunately no room, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, and then all the Game Boy Advance games there go on this shelf. And I might be able to fit a few of them, but I'm probably going to have to end up stacking some just up on top like that. Um, the Nintendo Powers I didn't try to put away yet, and then the Wii U games I didn't try either. I could probably fit the Wii U games perfectly fine. Actually, let's try that right now. Excuse the mess. So, we have to have a gap here for the light switches. <laughs> um, so, actually, I probably will not be able to fit these. It's looking like unless I cover up the light switches, which I cannot do, they're not going to fit. So instead, I'm going to have to put them like this. And then when we move, I will hopefully have a bigger, bigger area for Wii U games. It's a little tight. There we go. It's better than nothing. So... There's, this is the GameCube shelf here. As you guys can see, it already has a bunch of games up on top. Continues over there. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. You know, I'm, I'm not expecting this game room to really be completely set up again because of how much stuff we have. So, I don't know. You guys probably won't see another room tour at this house, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, for one, I have to get the entire room perfectly cleaned up and then film. And just to clean up this place and get everything organized and sorted would take me multiple days, let alone the time that it would take to film it and edit it, which that part wouldn't be too bad, but getting it all cleaned up would be a chore. So, And because I know for a fact the games are not going to fit, you probably will not see a room tour 
of this room again. Um, the next room tour you'll see will probably be at our new house, whenever that is. So, I don't know, but <laughs> that's all I'm doing for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun today. I'm really, really tired. Um, as you can imagine, I got up at 6 o'clock this morning, or 6.15. Um, but I don't even know what time it is now, but it's definitely getting late. I'm going to go see what Abby's doing and see what time it is. I just got to get all these lights turned off first. My stupid filming light is in the way, as always. Ugh. It's hard to reach the, the light switches. Let's go see what she's... She's probably still playing Stardew. Hi, Zelda. Hey, Abby. Yeah. What you doing? Playing Stardew. Playing Stardew? Oh, no. What time is it? I don't know. You have a phone? 11.10. It's 11.10. So I've been up for a long time now. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.